been the overlooked, underrated member of the Big Three in Miami, but extremely valuable. A nice complimentary. Right, let's get me in. Let's play. I don't made a difference. Well, he's trailed by five. Just me. I didn't need no Anthony Davis. Averaging eight points a game. Gordon with the defensive. I will destroy the Heat myself. That's where he's most comfortable, Kevin. More of a slender build. Very quick. He takes advantage of his quickness Let's more go. than his strength. So facing up is really where he's been most effective. The professor checked in for the professor. Nice shape. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. And there have been a lot of fingers being Let's pulled. Screen. Let's and get some screens. Has struggled of late. Apparently that talk has made its way into the locker room as yes, well. Yes, there you it go. Can be I'll take out again if need. Let's go. Oh. Worry that the talk will find Scream. its way out of the locker room and into the media. And that's never a good thing. Come on, get in. Oh, Shit, you two, fucking bastard. Let's go. I got assessed, kind of. I want to go on the board, but I shot and he got after. So it's kind of an assess. I see you, Mario. Trying to cut through me. There's the dish to Dang. Bosch is screen on the wall. Dang. Dang goes in. Six to shoot. Watch me get the board. He's got to shoot, and I'm about to get the board. Here's McRoberts. Great D that oh, no way. I had that board. Right yes. He's about. Oh, well, you missed my cut. That was like paper. One big an Anton. Davis with a screen on deck. Here's the professor, and it's blocked by Dang. Fuck off. Dang, you big dollar. And here is Chalmers. 11 points for him in that last game against New York. And Cole kicks to McRoberts. Switch. Chalmers with it. Let's back over. Anthony. Dang passes to Bosch. Oh, I've got this. What? Just got his second basket of the night. <laughs> oh, that that big that. Advantage. Get the shot off. Well, it's hard to put a big man on him, Steve, that far from the hoop. I mean, he's versatile. I'm here. That's a ball. Nice game oh, 12. yes. Oh, I'm through. Here's the professor. I'm one. Let's go. And a new group in for the heat. Oh my my free throws are Ranger comes in for oh, Justin Roberts. And as he's checked in for Lou Aldang. And it's Napier in for Norris Cole. You see that layup though. New Orleans, Omer Ash, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Salmons comes in Damn for Tyreek Evans. And it's Rivers in for for death. The drive by Granger. Do you hear him up? Here's Haslam and the bucket goes on his way to the free throw. Three is there. No one else could have been like that. I'm quick. Very quickly here in the first quarter, pronounced advantage for them on the glass. Yeah, that's a trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Uh, the Heat shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And you look at the numbers for this season, guys, from the free throw line, they're shooting 77%. Oh, what? And comparing Why to the numbers them, of last man. season, they've made a bit of improvement. So yep. some positive Pass. momentum they can look to build on. Pass the ball. I would like the ball, please. Right now, averaging seven points a game. Hit that. Professor passes to Selmans. Spur. Oh, come on. Off the mark. Here's Napier. No good. He's wide open in the corner. He's got to be making that. And so that's the end of the first quarter. Offensively, pretty stagnant. New Orleans on top, leading by four. Let's. Second quarter, getting ready to start up. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so <laughs> Josh McRoberts comes in for Danny Granger. Luol Dang is checked in for Ennis. And it's Norris Cole in for Mario Chalmers. So for New Orleans right now. What can he pass is that, you asshole? Professor out there with Jimmer Burdett. And it's Evans in at the small forward position. 
Nice fast break from start to finish, guys. Especially on the back end. I mean, he polished it off perfectly. Luol Deng is the definition of the game. He averaged over 38 minutes a game over the last five seasons. What? I went in for the drive. Play with the fractured thumb. Why are you pulling up, man? Wrist. He always goes all out at both ends. Every this guy shakes me. He feeds it to Cole. Double team. Double team. Bosch, the screen. Cole dishes to McRoberts. There's the block. Ah! Didn't get the shot off in time. There's no reason for these big men to shy away from contact on the inside because when they get to the foul, you can see the success they've been having in the past month. And you look at Anderson, the best in the NBA. You put him on the line and it's nearly automatic. And with those numbers at the foul line, he should be trying to get there as often as possible. Operating among the big bodies in the paint, you know, he gets those chances. Well, it works two ways. I mean, Woo! he's very physical, understands how to draw fouls, and he's lethal once he gets to the line. But if you're defending him, you've got to really watch how you body up on him so you don't send him to the line. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Kevin, I'm going, after I'm going. opting out of the last two years and $42 million of his contract, Dwayne Wade re-signed with the Heat for two years at about $31 million. Kevin, if he hadn't already solidified his place as the most beloved player in Miami Heat history, giving up over $10 million to help the team compete has to seal the deal. Incredible, Doris. He said home is where the heart is. It's great to hear. Thanks. So the Heat uh -huh. the last game went against New York. How? You didn't miss dunks like that. You, just, you got chuck a dune on that. Come smiling. Your starters night in and night out. The reserves have to contribute and help them out. I think we definitely saw that, Steve, throughout the game. Uh, they were really uh, uh, tied uh, uh, together as a team. Yes, yeah, so use the screen. Use the screen. Oh, there you go. You'll take every road game win you can, and they're happy with that one. He's making man. it look easy scoring out there because he's much more efficient here in the second. Bosch, the screen. Pass to Napier. He dishes it to McRoberts. Davis, where are you? Nice oh, Davis is the franchise. Right to them. He's up all. I'll score. All right, no bar. You just missed. Ah. The point guards in this game are so greedy. Pelicans lead by nine. Kevin will coach with this type. Okay, guys, solid play so far. I like what I'm seeing. But just a few things to talk about before the second half. Like what? I'll say this. We kept a very tight handle mm. on the basketball, and that's something I always like to see. The fewer turnovers, the Wait, better, just Get me on for the second half, coach. The second half, just about to get oh, going. What? Here. Say what? You're up. Let's go. Time to do my thing. My thing. Look at Anthony Davis wearing shinies. This New Orleans team is, is now in their second season as the Pelicans. The name, which was subject to some critique early on, has actually turned out to be nice for the franchise with a new group of players, new ownership, and it fits nicely into creating a new identity. Shot clock at two. Oh, come on. And That's so not a foul. But if you suck ass. Alright, give me one. When you talk about the Pelican mascot, <laughs> Steve Wingspan attended. He applies to this team and the young Anthony Davis. Yeah, it's a great name. You know, Davis was last year's leading shot blocker to go with 20 points and 10 boards a game. I mean, this guy is a potential superstar and obviously the key for this club moving forward. And Anthony Davis is checked in for New Orleans. The professor comes in for Gordon. Here's Rivers. Here's Davis. Rebound by the Heat. Fringer set. You see that River, right? He always drives himself. Always. Always misses. Every time. Without a shadow of a doubt, he misses. Haslam is free on Rivers. Here's Napier. No good off of oh, I got that board. Let's go. Or just spin move. 15. Oh, see ya. Where's my screen? One big man. The third. 
a professor and Granger with oh. the block. They recover. Oh, that was, I can't believe I've got blocked again. Man. Eight points That's for Davis. BS. Yeah, guys, it's his consistent. It's an MVC to get my guy up. That way I can. Oh, how, how is it swapped like that? That's a clear mismatch. Stupid game. Anthony Davis, man, doesn't know what kneecaps are. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. And defensively, guys, they've lost something since halftime. I mean, they've given up open looks. Uh, they've got to buckle down and get some stops here. Play with some urgency. Here's Napier. The pit gave him all the room. Two people on him and he still scores. So that just Napier's shouldn't be happening. This team actually. Oh, I hate being on this team. Why would you not drive there? There's 57 seconds left to play in the third. Here's the professor. Screen. Baseline try, and it's off the back rim. No good. Who's that noise? has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys, but as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Give him the ball. Here's Napier, and lots of contact there. Come on, Simmons, you big bell end. The Heat have gone nine of ten from the line, so making the most of their chances. Get me. Free throw drops for Napier. To well, the Miami Heat. The Cavs. Reassembled and have been a polarizing team. Some fans rooted for them, others rooted against them. Either way, they've been an incredible story for the league and have become just a huge draw around the NBA. I'm open. And now with the big three era coming to an end, Miami now perhaps oh, one of the more hated teams around the NBA, but Clark, they are still at the forefront of the league scene in the East. And while they might have lost a bunch of the bandwagon fans, by no means is this team finished with being a title threat. There's just too much talent on this roster. And for the first time in a long hey, time, the time you done so. enjoy being viewed as underdogs. My board. Oh, come on. That Austin Rivers is so bad. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double digit ball game. Pelicans ahead. They lead by 13. That day is wrong. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. A tremendous point guard play, but that's nothing new coming from him. This is what you expect. The gorgeous. Kenny Granger has checked in for Napier. And New Orleans also making a change. And Anthony Davis has checked in for Omer Ash. So for New Orleans right now, Gordon is the two with Evans playing small forward. Anderson and Davis, they're in the middle. And it's Fredette in at the point. Cole, the pass to Granger. Six on the shot clock. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. God damn. Come on. Every time there's a cutscene, he's the guy that gives me a hope. Oh, let's work harder. We want to win. Guys, how about chance points they've been able to convert throughout this game? Get him off. Get me on. They've gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. The Heat making a switch here. Chalmers has checked in. The professor's right. checked in for New cool. Orleans. He's always been extremely play. reliable at the line. Not, and right. today's been no different. Davis sets a screen. The professor passes to Davis. Come on. Come on. Here's the professor. How? He's covered by Bosch. No good on the oh, shot. It well. goes from the professor. The Heat have hacks. Chalmers dishes to Cole. Ranger outside, plenty of space. I got this. Off the left rim and out. And in the paint, they have really shown some strength. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, I'd certainly call it a mismatch, Steve, at least for today. Here's the professor. Saw hey! The you know, when he's in that tight with that kind of height advantage over the defender, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. Here's Cole. Wing. Oh damn it! Help! 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 That's a good deep. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. 
Evans outside. The pass to the professor. Where you at, Thomas? And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line. Foul. Mario Chalmers picks one up. Oh, I'm injured. Why does his free throw suck so much ass? Hey. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. There's a screen. And Cole kicks to Granger. My board. Wide open no. shot is on oh, no. the money. Granger's got four points this quarter. One thirty-six left to play in the final quarter. Here's the professor. Come on. And the Heat going the other way now. Well, I guess they can get them when they need them. That's a good job of getting to the miss. Mm -hmm. Help. Here's Chalmers. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot. The two. way that this game works when like, it changes players now. We hear your marking. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. There were some people questioning Spolster's command. Maybe even within the team. It's almost like it doesn't know what's like switching us. Excellent head coach. And Coach Spolster, known for his work ethic and attention to detail, he's a grinder. No question about it, Kevin. Got his start as a video coordinator back when everything ran on VHS, so you know he had to do an awful lot of work. And he's worked his way up slowly, but surely he's grown as an assistant under some terrific mentors, and now he's really, I think, one of the best head coaches in the game without question. He's visited college football training yep. facilities, NFL camps. He really tries to broaden his perspective. He sure does, and you can see evidence of that in how he handles himself. Anthony Davis, good in law. Get in the post. There's 39 seconds left in the game. The fader. And he Davis go. puts it in. And the Pelicans lead by 15. Well, they've done a great job keeping the fans out of the game today. And the closer they get to the win, the quieter it gets. Yeah, we call that the sweet sounds of silence. They're going to savor this win as well they should. Every road win carries a little extra reward. That's just a case of two teammates working perfectly together. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Wow. See what I need to work for here. An 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Cole, the pass to Granger. That's good. Looks like Davis, come on. Run, just aren't enough ticks left on the clock. Well, Steve, it's a good run they're having now, but they just pass the ball. Evans, give me the ball. Evans. Evans outside. You bail end. So we see New Orleans taking the W here. I'm pure rattling here trying to get the ball. I hate this team. Do I be a free agent? So if you know any teams, pick me up. I hope there's a cutscene. Because if there's a cutscene, like, and then it gives me the option to say, like, get me the ball more, I'm saying it. Because it's a BS. Head up, dog. We won, remember? No thanks to me. More like in spite of you. What's that supposed to mean? Means you couldn't hit water falling out of a freaking boat tonight. You Relax, are. man. Everyone in this league has an off night. Can't let it get to you. Question is, what are you going to do about it? Work harder or pout like a punk? Pointing fingers. I seen him play. I point fingers when they need to be pointed. I need the ball in rhythm, in my spots. How am I supposed to have a good shooting night when you out there hogging? Not even going to answer that. What I do know uh, is thought so. when we you mind. point a finger at someone, there's going to be three pointed back at you. Well, I, I fight you all. I will fight you all. Hey, 
Agent want some of this? Yo, so what's up? It's not every day that you in the hood. Just wanted to drop a little knowledge your way. We're in an exclusive club. A lot of people think the NBA life is easy, but I know different. There are ups and downs, pressures most people got no clue about. Wanted to make sure you're dealing okay. Oh yeah, man, I'm good. All right, because if I've learned anything, is that you have to tune out all the noise. Only thing that matters is what happens between the lines. Do the work, listen to the coaches, and the results will take care of He was just trying to trash talk me two minutes day, ago. It's not about the money, the nice hotels, the private jets. Remember that, and you'll be fine, all right? Yeah, man, I get that. We straight. I know about having because he's pretty gay. I mean, I'm straight, but he's... Uh... He's a bit gay.